Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Moon, which is a card drafting moon settlement building game that's on Kickstarter right now. It's designed by Hawk and Garda and published by Sinister Fish Games, the third in a kind of spiritual trilogy uh, that's preceded by villagers and streets. You can see videos for those on the channel, but it's Moon that is on Kickstarter right now. I'm going to be doing a full two player playthrough today so you can see how it all works. This is a prototype, it should give you a very good idea of what the final thing will look like. But the Kickstarter page should give you all the final details as well as how to get hold of it and uh, any extras that might be included. The link is in the description for you to check that out. In Moon, we are the leaders of some of the first settlements on the Moon. We're going to be launching expeditions from Earth, and those expeditions are going to bring with them blueprints, resources, new personnel. We want those personnel to be wowed by what they see at our settlement and spread the word back on Earth that ours is the best. If we can make our settlement popular enough, then it'll surely be the future capital of the moon, which is what we are going for. Before I get started, I recommend you turn on the subtitles to the Klingon channel. If I've made any mistakes, they'll be corrected there. Thanks, Steve. And if you would like to help me keep making videos, there are ways to do that in the description as well. Thank you so much for your support. When we start out, we just have a base each. Marty over here, who I'm playing against, has the Grimaldi base, and I have the Sixin base. Your bases provide you with different means of production. I will produce a rover at the start of each era. There are three eras in the game. And I have this flag. Now, certain cards will want me to have that flag. Certain cards might reward me for having that flag. Certainly at the end of each era, we count up the number of each flag that a player has, and you're going to get increasingly more heart points. Marty over on his base will produce energy and has this flag. I am the first player, so I have this first expedition card, which is always the same for the first player. We have reputation cards out of three different levels, bronze, silver, and gold. There is a card per player, but in a two-player game, you still have uh, three cards of each type out here. These are goals. As soon as someone reaches the requirements, they can claim the card. You can only claim one per turn, though. So looking at the bronze ones, the easier to achieve ones, but the less lucrative ones, uh, have three or more hearts placed on your structures. We haven't got any structures yet, never mind hearts on them. Uh, we want structures of each of the four colours and have no rovers left in your supply. So that's something we can be thinking about as well as the game goes on, as well as longer term things here like uh, omnipotence. You want three or more of all four types. So if you've gone for versatile, maybe you want to keep doing that so you can claim the better one later on. Starting the first of three eras, though, every era has got three phases in it. Production, construction and scoring. With production, we claim the resources and other things that are on our base cards and any played cards here. Obviously, at the start of the game, it's just going to be our base card. And we've gone through that. I am going to produce another rover which is going to make it a bit harder actually to have no rovers left in my supply so i probably want to focus on something else marty produces an energy so he can take an energy and put it in his supply as well and that's the production for era one now we have the construction phase every player apart from the first player needs an expedition card randomly drawn from that era's expedition deck this is going to go in their hand and it gives you an extra ability basically as well as all of your structure cards so whoever has this expedition card on their turn uh, is leading an impulsive expedition add a resource from the supply to one of the flag rewards that we've seen at the top there the winner gets the resource in the scoring phase as well as the hearts and the first expedition which i have uh, i may discard a card then replace it with the top card of the current era deck the cards we're talking about are these structure cards. In a two-player game, we get dealt eight cards each, which means we're going to get eight turns each in this phase. On your turn, and I'm the first player, you need to either construct or assimilate one of these cards. Now, assimilating is easy to talk about. You throw the card away and you get what's in this symbol next to the, the bin icon. So I could get rid of the trailer park and earn myself another rover. or I could build the card. Uh, there is a cost here, so this would cost me a water. I haven't got any resources right now. Uh, I might want to assimilate some cards. Uh, this tells you how many cards there are in the deck. Uh, this one tells you what you will get. So yellow cards provide you with flags. Some cards have flag requirements, so you have to already have that in your base to be able to build this building. 
There are pink cards with special abilities. Uh, you can flip them usually once per era. Uh, so if you built the rover stop, you could flip it to move all rovers in your settlement and supply to this structure and score a heart for each. Now, unfortunately, I'm held back by the flag. Uh, otherwise, that would be a great way of using up all of your rovers straight away. Uh, there are production buildings, so I could get producing a metal. When you build the production buildings, you also produce the thing. So if I want a particular resource, then that could be a way of getting it. Like potato vats here want to have the, the bio, the plant resource, to be able to build it. So maybe I want to build the toilet first, so that next time I would have the resource for the potato vats. We are going to pass these cards between us, though. So... Yeah, maybe Marty would see what I've done and assimilate that card on his turn. Uh, so it might not be there. You can't rely on that. Road would give me the transportation flag. That's something to think about. But there are ways of using each other's flags. Reservoir score a heart per water you have. Now what I can do if we're worried about trying to get water and things, I could get rid of something, say, the trailer park. I can use my first expedition's power. You can discard a card. So I'll discard that out of the game and replace it with the top card of the current era deck, which is the number one. So it's just another excavator. So I've put a bit more production in. I think I'm just going to go for the toilet. It's got no costs or requirements at all. You just pop it on your base there so you can see the bottoms of all of your cards. I have built a production building. It produces straight away and at the start of each era. Uh, and so now I have got myself one bio. Now, other things that I can do on my turn. So there's a rule of one in Moon. You play one card you can use your expedition card one time you can flip one pink action card you can claim one reputation card and you can place one rover rovers must be placed on other players cards so you can place a rover on another player's flag to temporarily act as if you have that flag for this turn if you need it for a card and you can place it on a resource card to get that resource now i don't know what's in marty's hand you know, maybe there's going to be an energy in there that I need. But without playing that card, I'm not going to be able to get rid of three things unless he builds something better. I am going to place one on there. Let's get that energy and at least see if we can compete a bit. Now, if he uses his two very quickly, there's no way I can compete because he's got fewer rovers. Now, marcy has got some lovely things. The LED garden here. This is a scoring card, the grey one. Place hearts on this structure so it always has at least as many hearts as you have bio production. So already he's looking over at my board and thinking, does he need to take that away? I've got a bio production. I would get a point for that. And maybe more as the game goes on. Water, uh, it's the only production building he's really found, apart from producing rovers, and you need the pink flag for that. He has got the food truck here. It provides you with two different flags. And remember, we're competing for all of these flags as well as wanting them for requirements. But yeah, nobody's got that flag. He could use his rover to get himself a bio. He's going to go for flags, I think. He is going to build the workshop, which costs an energy. He's got himself an industry flag now. Now, there is a way of getting this flag. He didn't take that card. I think he'll use his expedition's power and put a resource on top of the industry flag. So whoever wins the most industry flags is going to get that reward. I think he'll make it a metal. Yeah, he's seen a lot of cards had the metal requirements, although we don't know what era two is going to have in store for us. So you'll get three hearts and a metal for winning the industry flag now. Now, before we finish the turn, Marty wants to use one of his rovers. Now there is a downside to this. At the end of the round, at the end of the era, everybody gets the rovers that are on their cards. So they're gonna have them for the next round. And having the most rovers is a tiebreaker for say the, the flag rewards. But Marty is going to go for a bio because he wants to get these used basically so that he doesn't have any and he can claim the card because they give you uh, just you know one-off things or, or ongoing abilities. So for having no rovers in your supply, you're going to get two hearts, two points at the end of the game, and then an ongoing ability in every production phase gain an extra resource of your choice, which is pretty nice. So now we've both had a turn. We swap over our hands, including the expedition cards. So first player is going to cycle around as well. So Marty is going to be the first player for this second turn. And uh, we've seen a lot of these cards. So Marty knows that he's just passed me a water production. So that would be quite nice. Uh, he's passed me a card that wants you to have a load of bio production. So he doesn't really want that to get out. Now the rover stop, he can see that flag is here. I've got a water and I will have seen this. And it's probably the only way I might be able to win the get your rovers out. I think Marty's going to use the expedition card 
to discard that out of the game and bring in a new era one card. So that's just an industry flag. Now he hasn't got any energy anymore and he can't really get it. There's nothing that needs the flag that I make. And the only other production building that he can use his rover on is get another rover. So getting rid of his rovers might not be as fast as me. I think he's going to keep broadening his horizons. He is going to go for the road, the transportation flag, no costs or anything. And then over to me, I'm kind of thinking make this flag. I could get a water, but of course, Marty can use his rover, get the water and build that himself. And then he's got the house flag and then you'd be able to build the food truck. I think I want something of every type and I think this might be the only scoring card so far. I'm going to pay for the LED garden and so it's got its ongoing ability. Uh, place hearts on this structure so it has as many hearts as you have bio production and there I've got a heart on it. There's a good chance I'll win the flag that I've got. Maybe I want to put a resource on that. What resource would I like? Water seems a bit harder to get. I'm going to pop water on this flag. So we swap now and I am going to be first again. What would I like to do? Now I think I want to catch up with Marty on that flag and then have more rovers than him. Although Marty can get a food flag actually. Well, why don't I get rid of that? First expedition, discard a card. And then we've got a solar panel to get some energy. So I could produce some myself. Because yeah, I haven't actually got the energy to build this industry flag. Yeah, I think it'll be good to have later as well. I'm going to pop that solar panel in. And so I immediately get an energy. Still nothing of Marty's I want to use my rovers on. Over in Marty Town, he can do the rover bay. He's got that flag, but he doesn't really want to gain a rover. But what he can actually do is, why doesn't he first use his rover on my solar panel, get himself an energy, and now he has no rovers in his supply, so he can claim this. So that's two points and some extra production in the resource phase. And then, yeah, I don't think it would be a terrible idea. Get that rover bay in. That's another type of card. It's not a flag. But he hasn't got the metal to build the lab or the water to build the trailer park. He could go for the ice vapor. No, he's going to go for the rover bay. Get himself a rover that he can use. And then does he want... You can see that all of these potentially could be up for grabs. He's going to put out, say, an energy on here. So everyone's probably going to end up with a reward like this. Uh, yeah, and then we'll swap. And Marty's back with the first expedition. So he's got the energy now. He can get himself that flag and pretty much lock in those hearts and the resource and produce some more things. He doesn't want to let me have that bio, does he? Well, he's first expedition. He'll get rid of this flag and then see what he's put in. Hacker space, costs a water. Put a heart on this structure for each metal you spend to build. He's going to go for, just to deny it, he's going to put the toilet in. So he's going to get a bio resource for putting that production in. Over to me. There's still no water about. Do I want to get this ice vapor? But I want different types of structures. Having three hearts on structures would be nice. You can get multiple structures maybe though. I'm going to go for the water production. I know I'd, I know I want different types of cards, but I can't, I can't get them at the moment. And you know that one of the silver cards have eight or more production symbols. I've got four now. So I get myself a water. And again, I can add a resource. I think let's let's get some more water on here. Swap over again. And it's going to be me to go next. So yeah, remembering what was coming up would really help you out. First of all, do we want to... Maybe we'll discard one of these excavators and put something else into the game. So it's the junkyard. It requires you to have this flag. Produces one of any resource. Ooh. Now, I was going to go for this hacker space because, you know, rather than trying to get three on one card, just have a few different cards. But yeah, I am going to use one of my rovers over on Marty's flag so I can act as if I've got it for this turn. And then, yeah, another production. We can produce something different. I think, yeah, I haven't, I haven't got any metal, so let's produce that. Over on Marty's settlement. Let's see. He's got the bio. Nobody's got this flag still because the flag's waiting here. Does Marty get that built? No one's got any metal. He's going to go for the different types, I think. He's going to use his rover on my produce anything so he can get himself a, a metal and he will use it straight away to build this charger. So this is something that he can flip on his turn to get its ability. Discard any number of energy and score X hearts for each energy discarded. Now, X is a value that changes throughout the game. In round one, it's three. It's going to decrease by one for each era. So if he can get multiple energy, that would be even better. I don't know if he can, but it's still going to be worth three hearts. 
and you know, looking into the future, have three or more flipped pink structures would be nice. Since he thinks he's got it locked in, he's going to put now, and because this card's here, he's going to put an energy on the industry flag. And then we swap our cards over and it's Marty again. He's first so he can discard. He hasn't got a rover, so he can't get the water to do this. So maybe he wants to, we've done no assimilating so far. He can just discard something. Like he does want this, but he's going to discard it because I might build it as well. Uh, so the distiller, oh, it's the flag and the resource that I have. Place hearts on this structure so it always has at least as many hearts as you have food flags. Oh no, Marty can't afford to let that come over to me, can he? But it's a whole turn just assimilating this, just getting a single water. I mean, it might help him out later on. You know, if he could build this, score a heart per water. But he needs metal to build that. No, I'm set up for that. He can't let me have it. He's got to assimilate it. So it's going to be discarded and he will get one water. And over to me, I want that house flag. And marty has got no rovers now. Let's get that house flag on. And I only need a pink card now. And then I've done all four types for the goal. Impulsive Expedition. I know there are no more houses. I suppose First Expedition could bring one in. Well, I want to produce by and not have it. I'm going to get to get one more of these cards. They don't reward me for having stuff. Let's just make metal. I suppose I'll make the least metal out of anything. Let's put metal on there. Then we swap over. I'm first. So we've got score a heart per water. I've got a water. Produce a metal. So the pink card, that would be all four types, wouldn't it? Why don't we do first expedition, discard this and see if there's a nicer pink card. Solar panel to produce an energy. More production is attractive, but now I'm going to go for the reservoir. So it costs me a metal and I can flip it to score a heart per water, which I might as well do. I've got a water. So I'll score one heart, first point. And now I can claim have structures of all four colors, not including your base. So that's going to be three points for me. And at the beginning of each scoring phase in a minute, score X for each set of structures of all four colors, not including your base. So I've got one set of all four structures. X is three at the moment. So that is going to be quite nice for me, I think. Over to Marty. If he had a rover, he could use my flag and get this food truck, which would be brilliant. But I'm going to get to do that if he passes it over. I mean, he can get a rover, but then that's another sim where he's not doing anything. But actually, he hasn't got a metal to build this lab, so I think that's what he's going to have to do. Assimilate to get a rover, but at least he's not passing me a pretty good card. And then Impulsive Expedition. He knows he's winning industry, doesn't he? So I think, yeah, let maybe get metal on there again. So a lot of resources for winning that. Okay, swap them over once more. And our last turn. So Marty can build a solar panel or he can discard this. But he might end up with something he can't do anything with. He is going to build it because he hasn't done his charger yet. So he gets the energy for building that production building. Flip, discard any number of energy. He'll discard two energy and score X hearts for each energy discarded. So he's lost some good resources there, but that is going to be six hearts for him. So a lot more points than me for now. And that's him done. And my last turn, I have this lab. I don't have a metal. I can't get a metal. I can't do anything with the card. So it's gonna have to be assimilate it and grab the bio. And then Impulsive Expedition, I, we know what we've won now. So, and I know I want a lot of water stored for this, so I think I'll just put another water on the food flag. There we go. At the end of the construction phase, you pass the first expedition again, if you've got it. And the rest of the expedition cards go to the box because we're going to get a new one for era two. All of your rovers go back into your supply. So everything's on your cards. They might not have been yours to begin with. I should have used actually, I had one more rover left. I had the last turn. Yeah, use it to get Marty's energy, I suppose, just to have more things for the next round. There's no point wasting it. And then all the cards in the discard pile go back into the current era's stack and it gets shuffled. Maybe it will be making a comeback later on. Now we have the scoring phase. So first of all, we check the flag rewards one at a time. Who has the most industry? Marty has the only one. He gets the three hearts and the resources that were placed on by that special expedition card. Next, Marty has the only one. So another three hearts and an energy. I have the house. And then I have the food. And Marty has the road. So yeah, Marty came off a little bit better on points 
than that, I think, than me. Then we remove a heart from X. So anything that talks about X is now just two. We score all the heart tokens on our cards. For the moment, I've just got one heart on my LED garden. I score that heart token and it stays on the card. So it's going to get me another one in era two and another one in era three, hopefully more. Then at the end of era one, we place four hearts under each flag. It's a bit more lucrative for having the most next time. And we carry on. So Marty is going to get the first look at whatever our era two expedition card is. Trading expedition. You may exchange one resource in your supply for another. OK, that frees things up quite a bit. And then we get eight cards each again. Oh, we actually need to produce our things first before I look at these cards. Uh, so I produce a rover and then a bio, an energy and a water. My pink card gets flipped back as well. And something of my choice. Metal, I haven't got very much of. I think I'm going to have another metal. And then Marty, two energy, a bio and a rover. OK, then. So what have we got? The diner produces two hearts, two points. Oh, actually, I should have had X more points as well, shouldn't I? Because I had one set and X was three at the start of scoring. And Marty can gain an extra resource. I think he produced two energy. He will produce an extra bio. OK, now the cards. <laughs> so yeah, the diner could produce two hearts. I have that flag. I have that resource. I have three bio. Six hearts at the end of the game for having this park. The embassy, you need two house flags. There's only one in the game so far. Uh, build your structure for free this turn by flipping this. Wow. Thorium plant produces two energy and it only costs a metal to get out. I'm leaning towards that, to be honest. Two food flags on the rice paddies. That's going to be good for winning the thing, isn't it? Uh, food court, X heart per food flag. And I could get more food flags. Bamboo produces two metal. Magma pump, you need an industry flag for it, but it produces an energy and a metal. And I've got my first expedition card. Well, let's get rid of the six hearts from the park. I want that gone. And then we'll draw a new one from the era two deck. Faculty, two science flags for having two energy. OK, there's suddenly going to be a lot more competition for the flags, I think. I'm going to go for the rice paddies because this food court's out. So the rice paddies are going to cost me water. Do I want to use my reservoir now? Because I'm probably not going to get that much more water, am I? I did want that thorium plant. One, two, three, four, five water. Yeah, let's do it now before I start spending it all. So flip that to score it. And then we will construct these rice paddies, costing me two of that water. But I now have a monopoly on food flags, three food flags. Marty's got his special ability, he can exchange a resource if he wants to. So what's he got? The atom blender. Now you need two of this flag which I don't think we can get just yet. Exchange any number of resources into one type. Uh, the worm pen produces two bio. He doesn't want to let me have that. That would that would set off my LED garden and he would have three. I would have three hearts on something. Uh, the suburb has got two house flags on it. Bamboo produced two metal, two transportation flags, no cost at all. Fragmenter take an assimilation reward from settlement per science you have. Oh, wow. High rail we've seen. Radio tower. You need a house flag. Uh, you may add X hearts to one flag reward for each of your house flags. He can't let me have the worm pen. I think rather than discard it, producing that would be quite nice. He's going to, yeah, he's going to spend the metal to get that, I think. If you can earn some more energy as well, his charge is going to be quite lucrative, isn't it? Even though X is only two now. So swap over and Marty's first. So now he produces this bio. I mean, he doesn't want the food court to be there, does he? I think first expedition is going to get rid of that food court that I wanted. So we've got the suburb for more house flags. And he's just passed one of those over, hasn't he? He's got the bio to do it. Two science flags build for free is lovely, but having the house flags would let you do that. He's going to go on house flags. He's going to use his rover, though, to get one of those bio off of me and spend just one for him himself. So he's got those flags now. Now, I could go for the suburb. I don't want to lose those four points to Marty. And having a load of house flags is going to be nice for the radio tower. I'm going to go for it. Suburb myself, spend two of my bio. But I think I could just put my rover on Marty's two bio here and not spend anything of my own. There we go. I don't need to exchange any resources. Yeah, the expedition card, not as exciting this time, the trading expedition. But yeah, they can't, they can't all be really exciting. So I'm going to get a turn again. 
as everything gets passed. So build my structure for free this turn as a pink card. And I want flipped pink cards. I could discard something, but no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to build the embassy for a bio. And I think I've got loads of rovers and I'll produce more. Just pop that on there and use Marty's bio. So Marty, of course, frustrated by that. That's what he was hoping to do. But he can, you know, you may add X hearts to a flag reward for each of your house flags. He's got two house flags now. So he could get that on. He could just go for some production and race towards having those eight symbols. That would be eight. Yeah, he is doing this. It's symbols, not cards. So he can spend a bio to do that. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight production symbols. Make sure he gets his two metal now. And when claimed, this could be a bit better, but score X for each rover parked on your structures. He's got two rovers parked on his structures. So he's going to score four because X is two right now. And that's another three points for the end of the game. Swapping over his first and he he's thinking about this flag card. He just wants to win all of the flags. He's going to discard, I think, the diner. Yeah, as the first expedition power, draw something new, see if it changes his mind. The archive. Flip this to search the previous era's deck and build an extra structure from it. Oh, that is lovely. He wishes he hadn't drawn that now. He's going to build the thorium plant, though, because... That's two more energy he can discard. Costs him a metal to build it. And that's another two energy in there. There's a three. So he's got six. He can get 12 hearts for discarding all of that later on. But he has left, I think, quite a nice card for me next turn. So thinking about flag, I could take this flag away from Marty. There is another one in there for him to do it right back to me. Although adding X hearts to a card ward, and that's another pink card. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to flip that straight away. You may add... X hearts to a flag reward for each of your house flags. So I can add two to a flag reward for each of my house flags. I've got three, so I can add six to the house flag reward, which I know I've won unless something changes. So I can make that a 10 reward for winning that. So suddenly anything that's got that on it is really desirable. Swap over and I'm first again. So the archive is looking lovely. I'm very tempted. I'm more tempted by, than anything else, I think. I could get this science prize away from Marty, though. I'm going to do first expedition, and I'm going to discard this out. Why? Why don't you discard the archive out and then do that? I'm going to discard this. And then I'm going to draw something from two. Two industry flags. I could take that away. I haven't got two metal right now, but I could get some metal from Marty. Now, the archive. We'll be able to do an era two card later on. I know the space is filling up a little bit. That costs me a water. And I'm going to activate that now. There is three or more flipped structures. When claimed, flip back one of your structures. I think add X hearts to a flag reward. Add another six hearts to that reward. I mean, building an extra card will be lovely. Yeah, actually, build extra cards. And we all we need is grey cards. And then we've got sets. And three of each type. I've got three pink. I've got three blue. I've got three yellow. All I need is three grey, and then I can do that. So search the previous era deck and build an extra structure from it. So this is the whole deck we're seeing now, not just the ones from before. So looking at grey cards, which I think I want the most, the distiller, uh, place as many hearts as you have food flags, seems the best so far. Place a heart on this structure for every metal you spend to build. is still nice, but remember I'm going to be able to use this in era three and build an era two card with it. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm gonna pop this on here. So it's gonna cost me a water and we're just gonna to have to have it so just the bottoms are showing, I think. So we've got one heart on that card and I've got three food flags. There is three hearts on this card. Now I've already claimed one of these cards. I can't claim another reputation card this turn, but I've got three or more hearts on a structure. Okay, Marty. He's worried that I'm running off with this, of course. Could build the Fragmenter, take an assimilation reward from your settlement per science. It's only got one science at the moment. Can trade resources for others. He wants more energy. And you know, the Atom Blender. Oh, he hasn't got the flag. We haven't got enough science flags. Exchange any number of resources into a resource type. He could exchange all of his resources into energy and then do this. But unfortunately, yeah, it's not perfect at the moment. You know what? He's going to use his rover on me to get another energy for that later on. And then he's gonna go for the high rail. Now, if I build one, I'm not gonna take majority away from him. I think that's all right. Not as good as what I just did, of course, but you know, 
he's making do. So he has got the first expedition again. He can go for those industry flags and really lock that in. Or he can just take the opportunity away with the first expedition, which I think is what he's going to do. Thorium plant, produce, ooh, produce more energy. Yeah, Marty's going to have to step out of the way a little bit. For all of his plants and gizmos, that is a lot of production. So there's another two energy coming in for a big payday at the end of this round. Which he wants to do because X is going to go down again, isn't it? At the end of this round. Uh, so for me, Marty's nowhere near three sets of things. I think I might cool my jets on that a little bit and wait until Era 2 to get another grey card. I think I would like High Rail just maybe to compete on that flag. I don't want to just give up entirely. And then I'll use my archive again, because I got to flip it back from this card, to look through the Era 1 deck. I don't think I'm going to go for this hacker space. I probably will spend metal to build things later on. What about this printer? I'll have to use a rover to get this flag off of Marty, pay a metal to search the current Era deck, and then build an extra structure from it. I know I said stack, you know what I mean though. And then spend an energy to build it. That seems, oh, combo's just kicking off here. So we swap back over and I'm the first player again. And I think first I'm gonna discard and draw with the first expedition. Ice quarry will produce two water, that's quite nice. I do want water, don't I? From my other card later in era three. That's something okay, but before I decide, I'm gonna pay a metal to search the current stack and build an extra structure from it. And maybe this is gonna be the gray one that I end up building. So the only gray left in here, it's a pool for five hearts. I don't have that much water and there's no way of getting all of that water. Unfortunately, it's tempting because then I could maybe spend four resources in one go. That would be three resources and the normal build, spend a resource on that, there's your four. This hotel though, one of a few different flags. If we get more bio production, that's gonna help our building at the bottom there. Oh, they're all quite good. Pick a resource to produce one off per industry flag. And the faculty's just two science flags, which would help with those cards that are coming back to me next time, wouldn't it? I have got two energy to do that. But now I'm gonna go for this hotel. So it's gonna cost me a water. Which badge, you know, I want to hang on to all of my water so that pink card can score massive, massive points. But there we go. I can claim this now. You may build yellow structures with a discount of one resource. So I don't even need to spend that water. Yeah, claim that first. We don't need to see the other one because I, it was just a when claimed ability. Because so I've got three or more hearts on structures. And then my main build, let's build water because the reasons that I said before. And then I get two water right now. And I think that's pretty nice. I'm actually going to use another rover. Why not? On Marty's metal here. Get a couple of metal in. In case I need it. Now Marty, just getting to build the one thing, of course. Can swap resources for other resources. He's going to change a bio in his supply for an energy. Can't build the Atom Blender. He could just discard something, of course. Oh, he can build the Atom Blender. Because he's got a rover, which he can pop on my hotel now, borrow that science. He's got a science himself. Pay the water. There's the Atom Blender. Flip to exchange any number of resources into one type. And then swapping back over. He's first. He doesn't really want to produce two metal. He's going to discard and draw it's the pool. He hasn't got two water. He could get two water, but I think he's just going to discard that to assimilate to get a bio. It's his last turn, so he'd better get it done if he's doing it. He's going to flip this to exchange any number of resources into one type. He might as well grab two water off me first. So that's two, three, four, five more energy. He's swapping everything. He's going to the next round. Well, he is going to produce, isn't he? So why not? I am getting points from the flags, I think, but here we go. Marty's going to flip his charger, discard any number of energy, and score X hearts for each one discarded. He's got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and X is 2. He's scoring 30 points. That's pretty massive. I know I'm doing a lot more on my turns, but is it scoring me these kind of points? We'll have to see with the flags. Uh, and then that's flipped, but that's Marty's last turn, so he doesn't really mind. As for me, I've got this Fragmenter, take an Assimilation Reward, 
From settlement per science. And I don't tend to assimilate. I don't really want just a rover though. I could trade a resource for another. I might trade a bio for a water just to have more water next round. And then I think, yeah, I'll just build it and I'll build it for free. So there we go, loads, loads of pink structures in there. So now first expedition passes back to me. Your rovers go back, should I spend this? I, don't, I haven't just spent a rover, have I? I'll just spend one to get two energy in case I need it. You might as well spend them if you've got them. Unless there's gonna be a tie break for something and then you'll regret it. There is gonna be a tiebreaker for something. I don't want to regret it. I'm gonna hang on to that rover and we'll see why now. So we get all of our rovers back to our supply. Here's where Marty might regret. Popping his rovers out. Check the flag rewards one at a time. So industry, we've got one each. What's the tiebreaker? Most rovers. I have got most rovers. I get those four. We've got one science each. I've got most rovers. Oh dear. Houses, three to two. I take those 10. We did know I was getting that one. Food, four to none. And roads, two to three. Marty does get that one, but that is a massive, massive score for me, I think. What are we sitting on? 37 to Marty's. Actually, Marty's got like 50 points, so it's fair enough that I got all of that. Oh, I need an extra, I need an extra heart. This would have been a subtitle, I'm sure, because I've got four food flags now. Uh, then... Remove a heart from X, there's only one on it. So Marty's energy thing probably isn't gonna come off as uh, as well next time. Score heart tokens on your cards. I've got five heart tokens on my cards. Marty's got none, so that's something as well. And I've got a couple more of these, I think. And then refill the flag rewards. The flag rewards are now worth five for their base score each. And I've got my thing that can boost the value of one, haven't I? Oh, and actually, before X went down, I have got two sets of all four colours because I've got, just basically what I've got the fewest of, greys. Maybe I should have got the extra grey, but that is an extra four points for me. And then it's production, it's era three, the final era. So I get three water, an energy, a bio and a rover and something of my choice. I think it's going to be another water. So I need all of my pink cards back then Marty is getting for six energy straight away. So that, that's six points. Because X is only one now, at least. Two metal, three bio, and a rover. Then Marty's going to start off with a new expedition card. Mobile expedition. You can park a rover on one of your own structures. I mean, for his energy things. And it's uh, blocking off opportunities for other people to do things. Although Marty has doubled up on a fair few things, hasn't he? So then it is our last set of cards and it's over to the first expedition as always. So I've got eight turns and I've got six pink cards. I want to try and get them used while they're about. So what have we got here? Space Slink, three transportation flags. I mean, that pretty much would guarantee my lead there, wouldn't it? We don't know what's out and what might come out. Uh, we've got the Oracle, take two hearts per flipped structure, including this one. I mean, that's got to be up there, hasn't it? 12 hearts for the cryo tombs, and you would be spending a load of resources, provided you could afford it, of course, which I can. I've got the flags and everything for that, and that would be spending four or more resources in one turn. That's worth 14 points. It's just that this would get me the goal as well. Evil Corp, copy the scoring value of your least valuable grey structure. Agridome is three food flags. The museum, score as much as all hearts placed on structures in your settlement, which at the moment is five. Cinema, a heart per rover. I do have six. Parliament, six hearts for each set of all five flag types. At the moment, I've only got one industry and one science, so that would hold me back a bit. But that would be massive, wouldn't it? If you got industry flags, that could be enormous. I don't know if they'll come out, though. I think I'm going to get rid of the food flags. Stop them being in contention. Uh, the vineyard will get you nine hearts. I'm going to go for the cryo tombs. Yeah. So that's just going to be 12 hearts at the end. Maybe I should have just built the food flags there. That would have been an extra three. But it only cost me three resources, and I don't want Marty to be able to win that. It's going to cost me all of my energy and bio. But I can get some more off Marty maybe later. That is going to be worth 12 points, and I can claim spend four or more resources in one turn. Take a heart for each of your blue structures. One, two, three, four, five, six blue structures. 
There we go. And do I want to build something else? I've left myself with not a lot of resources, but I haven't spent a rover yet. Let's search the current era's deck, shall we? It costs me a metal to do that. I've just got to watch with the costs of things because I might really have messed myself up here by choosing water all the time. I mean, producing three water is quite nice. There's those industry flags. I mean, I'm sure Marty won't let me have all those cards that I want. There's another parliament, but I wouldn't get to go through this. This might not even come up getting more industry flags. Flip back a flip structure. There are a couple of things with the three industry flags in it. I'm going to go for it. Parliament. Because if I could get two parliaments synchronized, have two identical gray structures. Oh, I've actually got, oh, we need two or more things with uh, yellow structures with three flags on. I've got one, just realized I got one in era two. Shad it in the back of my mind. Oh, they'll come out in uh, in era three. No, they've already come out. So parliament is going to cost me a metal and then it's going to cost me an energy that I haven't got, but I can pop my rover onto Marty's and have one change. Marty, what goodies has he got? So he can park a rover on his own thing. Three transportation, pretty much guarantee him that. He's seen what I've just built. I mean, yeah, he doesn't want me to have the bio, but it's only three points at this stage. Is it worth stopping me? A uh, point for every yellow structure, three food flags, and then he could be in contention for those five points at the end. And it's, you know, it's a two-player game that's losing me five points and gaining him five points. It's big. Uh, a heart per grey, 11 hearts, and a heart per metal. Now, he could just get it all, and he could just get resources and turn them into energy. That seems less exciting. Now, it's just one each, though, doesn't it? So he has to spend the energy to do it. He's going to go for the Agridome. So he's not going to be putting a rover on his own thing. He's going to be popping it on mine and getting that two water. So he's now got three food flags. It's going to cost him a water and a bio and an energy. But then he is going first next turn. So now he can look and surely, unless he wants Parliament for himself, which, you know, that's six points to him. And if he gets, he would have to get more science and more industry for that to be better. He doesn't want to let me have that. So why doesn't he first expedition, discard that and draw something new. It's going to be the resort, a heart per grey structure. He hasn't got grey structures yet. He doesn't want me to have the oracle either. I mean, it's worth a few hearts for him to build it. Maybe he could get more pink things. But the, the pink things he's not as excited about anymore. He just doesn't want me to have them. Is he going to spend his turn just stopping me? Yes. He's going to discard that and take two metal, I think. And that's that. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Build your structure for free this turn. I'll have the monument, thank you very much. Oh, wow, this... I might not need any of these extra things. There's 11 points for free. And I can now claim something else. So I'll claim three or more of all four types. But you can see right here I've got three or more of types. When claimed, take a resource of each type. So that's giving me some more options. So next turn, I think, let's score the heart per water now. So what's that? Three, six, nine. And then I'm going to start spending the water. Let's get that space sling. Lock that flag in. Now there is another one. So what do you see in that? Could surely lock it in. Yeah. That's what he's going to do. Uh, is he going to park a rover? Yeah, he's going to park a rover on one of his own structures and get two energy. Because then he keeps the rover as well. And he's first player for the next turn. I think discard the evil corp. And bring something in. Hab blocks. Three house flags. He could be winning that. Has he got the resources to do it though? No, he hasn't. He's already placed a rover though to get energy. I mean, he could use his atom blender to make some water. Yeah, he'll exchange this two metal into two water. Ah, oh, what a waste. So he can build this. But he's now winning. Roads, and I don't think I can come back. He's winning houses. If he gets the most rovers, he wins science. As for me, let's take something from the previous era's deck. And we've got that. Oh, I was thinking about maybe an identical grey. I haven't really got an identical grey. But this factory right here is worth two. It's worth 12 points, isn't it? Because, oh, I would need science as well. Yeah, I don't know if science has come out. That's stopping me with the flags, isn't it? I'm just going to go for the pool. I've got all of this water. It's another five points. A three. And then what am I doing? I can put a rover on one of my own things if I need to. I mean, that's worth five hearts, but I've got to flip it. And I've already flipped something. I've got a lot more turns left, though. 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I would have seven gray structures. That seems like the thing to do. I've got two food flags, resort time. And then we swap and I'm the first player for the next turn. Heart per rover, if I keep all of these rovers, six, I should have used one, at least to get an extra rover last time when I had that uh, card that let me do it. The vineyard. Oh. oh, I feel like I'm getting loads of these. Spending two energy. And then Marty, I'm giving him a rover, but there's two um, bio that I'm spending for the vineyard. That's nine hearts. I've got so much on this. I don't know that Marty can come back now, even if he manages some crazy energy thing. He's got to go for something, hasn't he? Right, a heart per yellow structure. Oh, I think Marty should have, actually. He got two or more yellow structures with flags. Take hearts equal to the value of all your reputation cards. So that would have been five more. Two identical gray structures. It is a bit tougher in a two-player game, actually, because some cards are removed, some duplicates are removed. City, it's free. It will be worth one point to him right now, whereas you might as well just turn the resources into metal, into energy, and just spend them that way. But he's already used his turn his stuff into other things. And the museum is worth no points. He can put a rover on one of his own structures. He'll do that for another energy, I guess. Or just do it for, yeah, two metal. And build the city since it's free. And then that's, that is at least a couple of points. He's first. He's going to discard. Oh, that's worth loads for me. And see if there's something good. Flip back a flip structure. Yeah, that would actually be good. He'll build that and flip it, which flips back his turn all your resources into one thing, I guess. I don't know that he can catch up here, though. Right, I am building the moon fungi because it's boosting my... Oh, it's all coming off the screen. It's boosting my uh, have bio production. And then I think I'm going to flip my add X hearts to a flag reward for each of your house flags. Got three house flags and I'm definitely going to win food, I think. So I can add three to the food flag. Flip them back. I'm in the first expedition. And so what have we got here? The museum and the cinema. Heart per rover is six to me right now. I don't need to spend anything to get it, but why don't we? We could be bringing in something really great. Orb reactor is three energy. No, that's worth a load of points. I'll have that, please. Does mean I'm passing Marty an orb reactor, which is three points to him. Now he's got the atom blender. The ice quarry does get him a little profit. There's nothing on his um, structures in his settlement, though, so there's no point really taking a load of stuff. He can put a rover on his own building and get an energy that way. I suppose it's... Um, the museum's better for me, though, so he's going to assimilate that. Discard for a bio and an energy. And then last turn. I mean, is it going to be better than the orb reactor? That's just three points if he builds the orb reactor. But it could be a flag, couldn't it? That could give him a majority. Even, like, food or something could give him a flag if he can afford it. It's a workers' union. A heart per blue structure, which is more points, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not building that's cost him three... Four, five, six. It's still going to gain him some points, isn't it? He hasn't got... He's going to have to give me a rover to get the industry flag. He's going to do it, though. So he can build that. And then finally... Oh, he can only flip one thing per turn, though? Oh, dear Marty. So he has got seven energy. So he can flip that for seven hearts. And then over to me. I've got this ice quarry. None of it matters, does it? I don't think so. I'll just discard it for a bio because we don't get anything for this stuff. So now for scoring, I don't think anyone managed to get two identical grey structures, but flag rewards. I think I still managed to hang on to the most rovers. Six, seven, three, five for Marty. Yeah, being able to put them on my own. So I break the tie and gain the points. Science, same. It's still one each. House. Marty got five, so he gets that. Food, it's four to three, so I get that. And then roads, it's six to five, so Marty gets that. There are no more hearts on X. Heart tokens on your cards, so I've got eight. And then for final scoring, we need to look at hearts that are on our reputation cards. So 11, 13, 16, 19, and then, oh, sorry, Marty, uh, for the structures, I've uh, only got one of some flags, so that's just going to be worth six, 11, 22, 34, 
One for each rover, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 50, and then one for each gray structure. 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 59. So I think my final score is 165. Marty gets one for every blue, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One for every metal, 9, 10, 11. And one for every yellow, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then his reputation cards, 22, 24. So I think you can see where this is going. So Marty has got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 99. So I think mine's clearly going to be the capital of the moon. But yeah, getting these two pink cards, look through the previous deck and get a structure from it, and then look through the current deck and get a structure from it. Even with their cost and you've got to pay the things out there, you're, you're restricted by that, but if you can pay the rovers and stuff to get it, oh yeah, there's, there's big, big opportunities out there for you. But there we go. That is Moon. I hope that gave you an idea, because it's just an idea, of course. Marty's not experienced in space architecture. I hope it gave you a good idea, and uh, if you'd like to know what I think about the game, then you can click the link in the description, or it's coming up very soon to hear about that if you'd like to. The Kickstarter page is linked in the description. That's where all the final stuff is, and how you can look at helping the game come into existence. There are many, many more playthroughs from me on the channel. I hope you'll stick around and find more that you like. Thank you for watching this one, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone.